14 campuses, 12 countries, hundreds of languages. Distance and diversity, two defining characteristics of the University of the South Pacific landscape. One university, one language of instruction, and one mission to deliver excellence. CHFO2 Foundation Chemistry, the first ever chemistry online course, Chem Online at USP, for quality, relevance, and sustainability. Meet Enoch. He is from Tana in Vanuatu and is a student at Emilis Campus Vila. He left his family behind in Tana to come and study in Vila and lives with his grandparents while attending classes at Emilis. Enoch's friend Ernest also studies at Emilis. Ernest is from Ambai, formerly known as Omba. He left his family behind in January 2010 to come and study at Emilis and lives in Vila with his uncle and auntie. Here he is sitting on the front porch of his uncle and aunt's house, which is about 15 minutes away from campus. In the opposite direction, and about 15 kilometers out of town, past coconut plantations and rural countryside, Enoch starts his journey to Emilis campus every day from his house in Teuma by walking for an hour or running for half an hour along a road that is hardly more than a dirt track to get to the main road where he can catch a bus for a 15 minute ride to Emilis campus. He also carries a torch in his bag because often he returns after sunset when the road to his home is black dark, to borrow a phrase from the south. On the day that Enoch took us to meet his grandparents, it had been raining for two weeks prior to our visit. Although the sun had been out for four days, immediately before our visit, road conditions were still so bad that on our return to Emilis, we discovered some structural damage to the truck in which we had travelled. At the neighbouring Honiara campus in the Solomon Islands, we were told that the same theme of socio-economic adversity also characterises student lives there. As students in a region of developing economies, the capacity of national and institutional infrastructure does not always support modern learning technologies. Yet despite these seemingly insurmountable and discouraging challenges, 99% of the students in this documentary state that the benefits of online learning far outweigh learning by print and purely face-to-face -face methods. It is our belief that online learning is much more easier and less costly than print mode. Most of the students in Honolulu completing this education were not able to attend universities because it is uh, much more expensive for parents to send students to universities. Therefore, it is expensive to send a student over here to Villa and pay for all the transport costs and food expenses and other expenses that outside. It is much more easier to study back in the island and do online courses. This way, it is much more safer and faster way to learn. With online courses, all you need is a laptop or a computer with an inbuilt internet system, stay at home, and connect with friends, tutors, instructors, and students from other regional countries. Well, uh, as for online courses, they are less costly and easier way of learning. You can see most of the students uh, here are from Islanders. They pay for transport fares, port, and um, bus fares, and other sorts of requirements. Well, for being an online student, you can stay where you are. Your island is just connect online to students from other regional countries in the Pacific. Being an island trade, because um, apart from all those course materials, they also provide us um, access to the motor um, internet where we can learn. And we have access to communicate with the other groups outside us. I mean, for example, the other students from the other countries we can share our mm -hmm. ideas and contribute to them. We are able to relate what we have studied to the real life situation. Um, I mean, the outside of the study. Okay. Uh, one interesting thing about the city of the online is for most of the discussion questions, uh, they are related to the real life situations like um, the oil spill in Louisiana. So I found it interesting because I, I haven't heard about this, like the news when it breaks out. I don't hear, um, I, yeah, I can't, I was not uh, able to hear the news, but uh, according to online, the site was given online and we watched the YouTube videos and all this about the oil spill and things. So I found it interesting because it enables me to know more about the uh, 
It was interesting at one time, the, the, one of the discussion questions were based on pollution. Yes. And explain the different types of pollution that you face in your country. Yeah. And it was interesting to learn about the other pollutions that other Pacific Island countries are facing. Mm -hmm. Vanuatu, they were complaining about uh, all the rubbish and everything. Yeah, and the government did not do anything in their water system, complaining about their water is being polluted. Coming towards the end of CHFO2, we were getting interested yeah. in the thing and getting to know more and how to get about it, and then it ended. That's why we were wondering if it was going to start again. One thing with the uh, online classes, we um, interact a lot with our tutors and stuff from Suva, whereas uh, for the print mode, only during classes and when we have face-to-face -face tutorials. It is a challenge that the government and the regional institutions and most universities must take into advanced consideration to promote online learning in South Pacific. This is because most universities have uh, less carrying capacities and can accommodate most of the thousands of students that um, they finish their education each year. So online uh, teaching should be encouraged and do enhance uh, students' academic performances. At this point of time, we are in the world of latest technology, and we believe, as a team, we believe, the more we promote online teaching, the more interesting the education standards will be. One of the more enthusiastic responses sees Charmaine, Allison, and Harriet in Honiara meeting and discussing Kim online activities with Enoch and Vila. I was discussing with Alice besides the person I discussed. We were discussing about week three, I guess, discussion about making bread, about ingredients, and we were discussing about ingredients, how to make bread. And yeah, they reply and we were like choosing, okay. And besides uh, that one, we were also discussing about the group's na name for our group, including Alfred, who participated very actively. <laughs> and, and yeah, apart from came online activities, we have discussed it, we were discussing, like asking questions, um, how was it like, in the social forum, we discussed about how was it like in the Solomons, and I asked her to you know, get to know each other. We like discussing about the person lives and like introducing ourselves more and more. Applying science to the real world also rates very highly on the benefits of online learning in comparison to face to face classes that consist mainly of one way lectures or studying by reading course and textbook materials through DFL. As informed educators in pursuit of quality, relevant and sustainable education, we can no longer ignore the emphatic request specifically expressed by students in our region for online programs. Online learning at USP is no longer a future strategy. It is the realization of a tangible outcome-driven education that promotes and embodies engaging, interactive learning, cutting across cultural, linguistic, and geographical boundaries in our 33 million square kilometers of ocean. As Enoch so aptly states, Online uh, learning is much more cheaper. Because uh, all you need is you get a laptop and a wireless internet and build it, install it, and you can stay at home, study online. Other than wasting a lot of money, paying for the bus fare and all these things, going to the campus every now and then. So staying at home and doing your studies is quite simple mm -hmm. and cheap.